Hi, I'm Jerry Herb from Elkhart Brad. Today we're going to go over some features of our floor below nozzle. You might have heard this type of an appliance referred to as, as a high-rise nozzle. Primary function is to engage fire in a high-rise setting from the floor below when there's wind-driven fire conditions and you can't gain access to the fire floor. We'd hook up just as we would if we were making an attack from the floor below, except we're going to hook into this appliance. The appliance has an inch and an eight smooth bore tip, which at 50 PSI will give us 265. Even in a compromised supply situation in a standpipe, we've got a large tip to get the maximum amount of volume to temper the fire so that we can get access to the fire floor. It's a two-piece appliance coupled together. It's two pieces primarily for elevator access. Once you make up and get it together, you're a full extension on the attack floor. It goes into a two and a half inch threaded XD inlet. The primary controller is the T-bar handle. That's where I'll be when we show you the evolution and I'll be backed up by another member that's on the hose. Ideally, this appliance is used with a spotter in an adjoining structure or somewhere on the outside to ensure that we're angling and getting the proper stream distribution and utilizing the wind as an ally to temper the fire in the wind-driven conditions. Garvin. Take a look at some of the handling techniques we found to be pretty effective when utilizing the floor below nozzle. Take a look behind you, you probably have something close for a footprint and room layout, the floor that you're operating on as opposed to the floor that you're attacking on. So you can direct the stream based on what you see from the floor you're attacking on. What you're looking for is initially not much more than a lentil hit for the primary room, but then you're going to maneuver the appliance up and down and side to side to get maximum exposure. In many cases, utilizing the corners with the nozzle will give you directional capability to surpass the room that you're in and even enter into access hallways. This is where it's critical to have a spotter and also to utilize the, no the knowledge you're getting from the floor that you're operating on so that you can direct the stream accordingly. Especially in a wind-driven event, you want that stream going in with the travel pattern of the wind.